So I've been making all of these videos recently and I actually ended up realizing that I haven't done a giveaway in a while. So that's what we're gonna start this video off with is a little old giveaway. So let's go ahead and show the items that I'm giving away. I have a bunch of tackle in my garage that I really don't use and I know you guys would put it to better use. So that's why I'm gonna give it to you guys. And also I cannot, I appreciate the support so much guys. Seriously, like over the last couple of months has grown so much and it's because of you guys. So. We're gonna be giving you guys some tackle. First thing, got some little rage crawls right here. These aren't the standard rage crawls, that's like the beaver style bait. I don't even know what they call this dang thing. I have a little spinner bait right here. And the last bait, I gave away one of these before. I had like two or three more in the garage and this is one of those 3D bats. So let me know if you want me to do a video over this because I actually have another one and we can always run that. Um, but if you guys want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel Hit the notification bell, which is right next to the subscribe button. That's a requirement. Hit the like button and then comment below your favorite bass fishing lure and I will be picking a winner sometime next week. I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling, so I'll catch back up with you guys on this whole giveaway. Be sure to remind me in the comment section. Never just load it up so you know it spikes my brain. I got a lot of stuff going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got a lot of tips out of this after you're done watching it. Let's I've been roll. getting so many questions lately about people saying, man, Noah, summertime, the fishing has got rough. And I can agree, the fishing has got rough, but that doesn't mean that you can't catch some big ones this time during the summer. So we're heading out to a pond today, and I'm going to be showing you guys kind of how I break it down. I'm going to walk you guys through pretty much, you know, everything that's on my mind today. Um, how I'm going to end up catching these fish, how I'm going to target these big fish, and we're going to make it happen. You guys have been asking me to explain a little bit more about what I'm doing, so if you guys want to see that, be sure to hit the like button, leave a comment below if you like the little tips and this, this, and that here and there. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get out to the pond. This is the beautiful pond that we're at today. There's a few things that I really look at. You know, we got this little cove right here. We got a bunch of wind kind of pushing up in it. Back in this corner, which we're gonna walk to in a little bit, there's a bunch of wind pushing up in that little pocket. And that can be a great area for these bass to be feeding on these bait fish. So I have a few baits rigged up today. I got a jig right here, just black and blue. And then I have a chatter bait right there. That's gonna be our moving bait to search for these fish today. And then once we wanna slow down and throw, you know, a big profile bait for these big fish, a jig is perfect. Both these baits right here, just listen to me guys, will catch big fish. You might not get as many bites on them, but they will catch big fish. So we're gonna start in this little pocket. Something just came up right there and try this. There's a bunch of wind. This place is actually kind of tough to get bites at, but we're gonna try to break it down today and see what we can do. So we're gonna start off with the chatter bait. This is our little moving bait. You know, we're gonna cover some water, see how active the fish are. Tighten my drag just a little bit. Beam a cast on this bank. See if there's any on this grass line. There might not be, they might just be out deep, but no, we're gonna give it a try and just see, see what happens today. See how active they are. See if they're gonna be willing to chase a moving bait. Uh oh, oh gosh, already? Oh, it's like a two pounder. Look at that. He ain't even that. He is a skinny summer bass. He's got a two pound head and about a one pound body. This guy is super like lethargic. Let me tell you, right when I hooked this guy, he just wasn't, look at his tail too, man. This guy has been through a beat down. I feel sorry for this bass. He almost looks like he's about to die. This is not good, man. You need to get some food, buddy. And look at his lips right there. I'm gonna chuck that jig here in a bit, but since we got one to eat a chatterbait, let's keep on trying. Ah, there should be one right there. There he is. Uh oh. Yes, sir. That's a good one right there. He ate that chowder bait just how I'd want him to eat it. Not a big one, but a solid pound and a half. Look at his thick body right there. He's not like fat, but he's just thick. That's a beautiful little bass. I don't mind catching him. For our second fish today, we're upgrading a little bit. We got a fold out, full body fish right there. Let's keep it working. Oh, 
he hammered me. He's got it. God, dog. Is this even a bass? Whatever it is, I, I might have foul hooked him or something. Or he's just really big. God, dog. This thing might be really big. I got grass. He is a three pounder, or not quite that, he's pushing it. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that one. I can't wait to show you guys how I caught this one. I've been trying it for a minute because it made so much sense, especially in the summer pattern. Then it just happened right there. I got my scale in my pocket. I'm gonna pop a weight on this joker. I think he's about either two and a half or two and three quarters. As you guys can tell, zeroed out. See what we got. Ooh, two pounds, 12 ounces. So two and three quarters, exactly like what I said. Okay, two and three quarters right there. That is a fat freaking donkey right there. That's a beautiful bass. I don't mind catching them. There it goes. So let me tell you guys what I'm doing. So I have this chatterbait. In the summertime, if you can find any drop-offs or deep parts on a pond, that's definitely where you need to be fishing. So as you guys can tell, I just, I just beamed a cast out there in the middle and I'm letting this thing sink, okay? Boom, all right, we just hit the bottom. I'm right there on that drop-off. What I do is I kind of hop this thing like a jig right up that drop-off, and they usually just slap it. They usually just pick that sucker right up. And that's what we're targeting right now. You know, you have these drop-offs, and in the summertime, they really stack on that stuff really good. Now I'm on top of it. You know, I'm not on the drop-off anymore. But that's exactly what I just did. I threw that chatterbait out there, let it fall off the drop-off, hopped it up, and he hammered it right there. Let's see if we can do this again. Yep, he's got me. I did it again. Why are they fighting like that? God, dog, this is at least the same size, if not bigger. They're fighting so weird, though. Oh, gosh, here he comes, coming up. Oh, gosh. Barely hooked, holy cow. That is the stubbiest fish. These fish are feeding right here on this drop-off. Look at that, barely hooked, but he hit that thing on the fall. That is a fatty, that's about two and a quarter. Let's just get a weight on him since you guys like to see the weights. Yep, two and a quarter. Two pounds, five ounces. Two pounds, four ounces, exactly four and a quarter. Or two and a quarter, gosh, what am I saying? There you go, you guys always question my weight skills. I just called both of those out perfectly on the money. Okay, two and a quarter, that's pretty bass. Caught him the same way as the last one. Right there on that drop off, letting this chatterbait fall, ripping it up. And they're just slamming it. Let's do it again. That was two casts after the last one. There he is. God. Oh, he came off. Oh, that was a good one, man. That, <laughs> that was a big one right there. Oh, he's got it. Yep. Yep. That might be a different one. I don't think that was the same one. I just think I might have found him out deep. Look at that. Solid pound and a half. He ain't quite two. I'll take him. I had one slammy, I'm telling you. The majority of the time when you find them like this, you can find them stacked up and catch more than one. That's what I like about it. Just kind of like what I did down there. So if you find these fish really condensed and stacked up on, you know, a drop off, it can get pretty dangerous. the old jig. I'm just hoping there's not too much grass. If there's not too much grass, we can make it happen. If there isn't, we can put a hurting on these bass with an old jig, let me tell you. Oh my lordy, he's got it. God, dog. Jeez, guys, this is a big, oh my gosh, he pulled off. That was a freaking slog. I couldn't even move him right there. Holy freaking crap. That was a, uh, I couldn't really penetrate the hook in them good. I don't have the right rod with me. That sucks right there. Oh yeah, he's got my chatter beat. Oh, he spit it, he spit it. God, gosh, dang it. They're being so freaking weird. I just wish they would choke it. And the funny part is like, they're all down there. Like we've proved that they're down in, there he is. That's a, that's 
a three. God, that's a football. Look at that thing. Well, I think I spoke too soon. I don't know if this is the one that hit me when it was down in the, the drop off, but right when I started to move it up, he slammed it and that's a freaking good one. He's not quite three, but he's pushing it. Go ahead and get a weight. I want to say either two and a half or two and three quarters. I think he's more towards that two and three quarters range. 210, just over two and a half, between two and a half and two and three quarters, just like I said. These are all quality fish. Look how, these are just like a stubbiest little football ever. <laughs> Look at that. That's so crazy right there. <laughs> Here, I want you guys to pay attention to something, to every fish I release. I haven't even kept these out of the water long. Watch. You see how each and every one's been so lethargic? That's just how today's been, man, even with the fish biting. They've all just been so, so lethargic. I just put on one of these reaction innovations. Kinky beavers in hematoma. Look at that. Oh, man, does that look juicy? That's a big profile right there for a big bass. What do we got here? He's about to jump. Oh my gosh, got a big mouth on him. Okay, just about to leave this spot and caught another two pounder. Okay, got him in the bottom lip. He swiped at it when I was push pushing up that little drop off right there. That's a little two pound fish. It's a pretty one. Look at the colors on that guy. All right, Jimbo, thank you for biting. Yeah. Sorry, girl, I got a ghost. Yeah, you know this ain't the old man.